Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm a professional reviewer and calibrator. Just a quick video review that's going to take at least 6 minutes by my usual standards of this JVC X5900 projector. In less than an hour's time, a courier will turn up and collect this projector that I've been testing over the past few weeks. And then later, I have to start packing to fly to CES, so we don't have much time. Get on with it! Yeah, yeah. So the JVC X5900 is the latest entry-level projector from the Japanese brand, which retails at just under £4,000. It features JVC's DILA L-Cost technology, Ishi 5, which produces higher than 1080p resolution from 1080p panels, and HDR support for both the open standard HDR10 and the broadcast HLG formats. The design is unchanged from JVC projectors over the past few years, with a centrally mounted lens flanked by air vents by the sides, and very solid build quality. You can see here that our review sample is finished in white, but there is also a black version available, which should be more popular with buyers with a bad cave or more light control. Apparently, the reason projector brands keep sending out white review units to journalists like myself is because they want to reserve the black units for sale. The lens cover is not motorized and so has to be removed manually, but the lens controls themselves, lens zoom, lens shift and lens focus can all be done electronically from the remote control, which can then be saved to lens memory. The connections are found at the back of the projector. There are two HDMI ports, which are both HDMI 2.0b with HDCP 2.2 compatibility, which means they can handle 4K at 60Hz video signal with HDR at higher bit depth or chroma. For system integrators, there are the usual 12 volt trigger, RS-232 and Ethernet ports. Let's move on to picture quality. Blacks are inky deep. JVC's DILA projectors are the OLEDs of the projector world, and the X5900 is no exception. This lends a wonderful sense of depth to the picture, and in combination with the proper 24p handling and film grain preservation, I always love JVC projectors for their filmic, cinematic, organic quality that just transports you into the movies. Colors are natural, if a bit oversaturated at the top end. This is because of the filter JVC has implemented to achieve a wider color gamut for 4K HDR material. When calibrating this projector for SDR, we recommend doing it manually so that you can align the inner saturation points while letting the outermost points lie outside the Rex 709 color gamut to prevent overcompensated undersaturation that would happen if you use the auto calibration feature. Up conversion quality is very good. This SMPTE RP133 test pattern in 576P looked sharp and detailed, although with slightly more fizziness, but hopefully you won't be watching much standard def content, if any at all, on this £4,000 projector. The ESHI 5 system still cannot resolve single pixel UHD patterns since the underlying panel is only 1080p in resolution. But in practice, we doubt many people would be able to tell the difference in real world content due to the JVC X5900's extremely high native contrast and how ESHI eliminates pixel grid from normal viewing distance in an effective manner. JVC offers a couple of motion-related controls under the Blur Reduction submenu, namely Clear Motion Drive and Motion Enhance. Clear Motion Drive, or CMD, is pure motion compensated frame interpolation, or MCFI. If you leave this setting off, motion resolution will stay at the sample and hold baseline of 300 lines according to this horizontally scrolling test pattern. The correct CMD setting will not only triple the motion resolution to 900 lines, but also reduce dynamic false contouring or DFC, which refers to an increase in posterization during motion, as you can see in the skin tones of this lady on a hammock here. On previous JVC projectors, engaging clear motion drive can introduce some banding, but this isn't a problem on the X5900 according to our test. If you engage the low latency mode, then clear motion drive will be disabled. We don't really recommend switching CMD on for watching movies anyway, 
since it introduces obvious SOOPRA effect or SOE and interpolation artifacts. We don't exactly know what Motion Enhance does. JVC says it improves pixel driving, whatever that means. But from our test, it didn't increase motion resolution at all. The blur did look a bit more stable, but there's also slightly more smearing, if that makes sense. So we'd actually be inclined to leave the setting off. Next, HDR. Let's get something out of the way. HDR on projectors, even on the company's top-end Z1 or RS4500 4K laser projector, will not look as impactful as what you see on flat-screen HDR televisions, owing to the limited light output, especially in the pinpoint illumination of specular highlight details. However, JVC engineers have done a fantastic job in designing their tone mapping curve that responds differently to different Max CLL or Max A or Max FAL metadata. In fact, this is the first display, either TV or projector, that we've seen show this information in the user menu, which is very handy if you're a numbers geek like me. The JVC X5900 automatically kicks into HDR mode upon detection of HDR10 ST2086 metadata, which defaults to a high lamp mode with a corresponding increase in fan noise, but this is necessary to get the brightest lumens out of the projector, and we didn't really notice the noise when watching movies with decent surround sound on. Going through some of our reference Ultra HD Blu-ray movies, we were happy with what we saw. The black floor wasn't excessively lifted, and the overall picture wasn't as dim as previous HDR projectors. Even in movies that are mastered to 4000 nits, such as Mad Max, Bright speckle highlights were adequately retained. This is seriously some of the most impressive HDR we've seen from a projector, and there's the option of customizing the tone map curve even further through the user menu or additional calibration software. For playing games, the JVC X5900 is actually very appealing. If you have been following the history of JVC projectors, most of their, mo most of their models carry an input lag in excess of 130 milliseconds with no way of lowering it, so video games will feel very sluggish. But the JVC Z1 I reviewed last year is improved at 47 milliseconds, but that's still a bit slow for Twitch gamers who play reflex-based games. On this JVC X5900, we measured an input lag of 43 milliseconds in 1080p SDR mode, dropping to 25 milliseconds if you send a 4K video signal, regardless of whether it's SDR or HDR to the projector. This is a similar scenario to what we observed on the Sony TVs and projectors with the X1 Xtreme chipset, where sending a native 4K video signal will lower the input lag by one frame because the display doesn't need to spend time upscaling. In fact, the JVC X5900 ships with low latency mode enabled by default in all picture modes that we've tested. Otherwise, I think the input lag jumps to around 200 milliseconds. So, for the quickest response time, let your Xbox One X or PS4 Pro send an ultra-high definition resolution to the X5900, which these consoles should do by default. Last but not least, 3D, which is still a thing on projectors. The JVC X5900 did well here, fully resolving our Full HD 3D test pattern and handle 24Hz, 50Hz and 60Hz 3D material without JADA. All in all, the JVC X5900 is a fabulous projector, especially considering its price point. It delivers class-leading blacks, a wonderfully filmic picture, two full-fat 18 gigabits per second HDMI ports, some of the best HDR presentation in the projector world, and now low input lag for gaming. HDMI handshaking is still slower than other brands, but not to the frustrating level of previous JVC projectors. It doesn't do true 4K resolution but its eShift system gets you close enough, and in true ISF ethos, I will always choose contrast and colors over purely resolution. If you own a bat cave and are serious about your films, then I don't think there's a better projector at the £4,000 price point. The next clear step up will be the 4K lasers, which start at around £15,000. Right, that's it for now. I better box up this projector before the courier arrives. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, maybe from the USA. Ciao.